Thanks for dropping in. Unfortunately, I don't have a project to share with you today. You see, I've been working on a design that relies on mechanical linkages. Linkages like this scissor mechanism, or this chain of parallelograms, or this flip switch. But designing linkages can be tricky. The slightest change to the size or placement of an individual part can totally alter how the entire system moves. So, to get everything just right for that future design, I created a linkage construction set. I guess we'll make a video about that. This construction kit has a lot of parts, including links in various lengths from 3 to 12 units long, pins to hold those links together, a base for grounding stationary intersections, plates for locking multiple bases together or elevating sections of a mechanism, and spacers, because they're both practical and mandatory for my fellow Ivan Miranda fans. The pins are designed to flex slightly to hold links firmly together, but they also have a little extra clearance. This allows links to rotate independently from each other without too much friction. A final hidden feature is this hole that runs through the length of the pin. This is just wide enough to take an M2 bolt for more permanent assemblies. If you plan to print your own, here are a few tips that will increase your chances for success. Before committing to a long print with lots of tiny parts, print only a couple test links and pins to make sure you get a good fit. Print all the links with at least three perimeters. That way, the outer wall of the link and the inner wall of each hole merge into a single stronger frame. Print all the links, bases, and plates at 100% scale. That way, if parts don't fit, you only need to resize the pins, and that'll waste far less plastic. For the pins to work well, their outer wall needs to be very smooth and consistent. In order to achieve that, manually place your print seam inside the pin. Also, don't rush the print speed. How quickly you get a part won't matter if that part is unusable. Finally, I suspect that the largest hurdle for this design will be elephant's foot, that extra squish you sometimes get on the bottom few layers of a print. I've tried to counter this in the design itself by giving the links a large chamfered edge, but that might not be sufficient. If one side of your print looks extra squished, try reducing your Z offset, or lowering your print temperature, or reducing your extrusion multiplier. If your slicer supports it, you can also increase your elephant's foot compensation. After making these demo linkages, I realized there was one mechanism I still had to try, even though it wouldn't quite fit on my standard grid. This is a strand beast mechanism, an 11 segment linkage designed by Theo Jansen to create a organic looking walk cycle. Jansen uses this linkage in gigantic kinetic sculptures that roam the beach with only wind power or compressed air. There's a good chance you've seen this already, but if you haven't, I'll link to Jansen's channel where you can learn more about these incredible engineering art pieces. As I mentioned, this mechanism doesn't exactly fit on my grid. Very few of these links come out to nice round numbers. So I created a separate link template to quickly produce custom links of any size. If you want to create your own strand beast leg, you can download these custom parts under their own project link in the description. It really is an amazing, mesmerizing kinetic toy all on its own. Okay, that's it for the linkage construction set. I hope you enjoyed this digression, but I've got to get back to the actual project that inspired it. So until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Is it just me, or is it even creepier when you run it sideways? <laughs> <laughs>